everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have one of my favorite monthly subscriptions that I'm going to bring to the channel. This is called Beyond the Parks by the company National Parks and Beyond. And I do have my hands here because of my mailing address. But I want to show you what is in May's box. And we are going to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park in this one. This is a park I've been to, so I should be able to insert some of my own personal photos. Now, I did only spend a day in the actual Great Smoky Mountain National Park, but I spent over a week in the Blue Ridge Mountains, so I'm very familiar with the area. I would love to go back to Great Smoky Mountain, but in the meantime, I cannot wait to see what type of memories this box, box brings for me and from my trip. So if you want to hear about uh, everything about Great Smoky Mountain and my trip and everything, please stay tuned. All right, here is what I see when I open up the box. We've got Smoky Mountain National Park from Beyond the Parks. And that actually is a very good picture, very distinct. You can kind of see just the rolling mountains. Um, and some pictures have even more mist and fog than this that gives them the uh, smoky appearance. Um, but let's, there's your sneak peek and let's get in. All right, this also functions as a product guide on the back, which is always great. So I'm gonna go to my first item here that's wrapped in some paper. And what do we have? We have National Park playing cards. Oh, cool. I always loved uh, these types of things. Uh, 54 unique minimalist U.S. National Park designs included in a deck of collectible high-quality playing cards. And look, oh, wow, look at the back of the box. I don't know if you can, I'll take it out of the plastic because I would love to see what the artwork is like. Um, that is amazing. So they have a retail value of $12. So let's get inside these and look at the artwork real quick. Ella Kell says, find your park. All right, so we have the deck right here. They're very new and slippery. This is the back of every single one of them, obviously. They all have to have the same back to them. Really cool design. I actually love this design. Um, very, very pretty. And then I'm loving the fronts, too. We've got, we've got like, like an elk here as a joker. Um, designed by Micah Hoang, H-O-A-N-G, in 2022. So they're very new. The jokers are different animals. We have an elk. We've got a... A bear, you can't tell without looking at the shoulder whether it's grizzly or black bear, but it does look kind of large size. Um, and then, oh, the ace of spades is Yellowstone. I wonder if all the aces, no, okay. Um, <laughs> it's curious, I'll be curious to see how they do this. So the ace, of, they're probably all different, actually. The ace of spades is Yellowstone. We've got the ace of clubs being the Great Smoky Mountains. Look at these drawings, you guys. These are so cool. Grand Canyon National Park for the Ace of Diamonds, Rocky Mountain National Park, one of my favorites, as is Yellowstone, as is all of these, uh, for the Ace of Hearts, Olympic National Park, King of Spades, these, I could go on and on, oh, here's Acadia, Acadia is top of my list, King of Clubs, I know a certain YouTube Ready, Set, Autism family is on their way to Acadia National Park this summer via RV going up the East Coast. Wishing them the best time. Um, so yeah, you guys can just see, I mean, I want to go through and look at each and every individual drawing. These are just, these are just amazing. I, I really love these. Oh, here's Sequoia, the Eight of Diamonds. I don't know why I'm telling you which card they are. It doesn't matter, but absolutely love the trees. This is just a really, really cool mammoth cave right there. Anyway, I digress. These are awesome. I love these. I love lots of different card games. So this is a perfect thing for me. And I'm still in awe at the back, like the design here on the back of this box. All right, the sticker pack that we get every month uh, for the park, Great Smoky Mountain National Park, is valued at $16, which is a little bit cheaper, I think, than uh, last month's sticker pack, which is awesome. But here's a sign. I actually have a picture of the exact same sign, or I'm assuming it's, it's one of, but um, it does look very familiar to this. And we've got a nice like rolling hills and 
uh, some mountains there with the sun in the background. I have some gorgeous sunset pictures, but I think they are more in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, National Parks and Beyond, Great Smoky Mountains. That's a really good illustration. And, oh, I like this. I've been there, hiked that, Appalachian Trail. I haven't done the entire trail. Um, that would be quite an amazing journey. I can't even imagine. But I have hiked at the very top at uh, Mount Katahdin in Maine and the very bottom in Georgia. Um, and I also have hiked many spots of it in between. I don't think I hiked any near Great Smoky Mountain, um, unfortunately. Um, but I think I may have got, I'm not sure if I got on any near the Blue Ridge Mountains that are, are, or not, but as usual, we've got four winning stickers here that I really, really like. Um, I just, this box is just awesome and it, they blow me away each and every month. All right, so I don't know what this is. I'm going to be surprised along with you guys. I haven't peeked or anything. Um, we just have this bag here and some noise it almost sounds like tent poles or something but <laughs> ooh, okay anybody want some s'mores Ooh, I'm surprised they were able to ship these these are sharp these are really really nice oh and this um it's a husband and wife that curates this box if I haven't mentioned it if you haven't seen my past unboxings and he probably I'm sure he carved these wooden handles this one says, make, Making S'more Memories. That's really, really cute. Hats off to the carving of the s'mores. That is amazing, amazing work. And then it says, NationalParksAndBeyond.com with our website. Making S'more Memories. I love these. These are awesome. Now I, now I, now I want some s'mores. That's a really cool gift idea, especially or something to go in the box, especially for the summer months. And they are valued at, actually they're, they're calling them campfire roasting sticks. I do apologize. You could put, I guess, suppose hot dogs or whatever you wanted on them. Um, they, but, but you know, s'mores are what the handle was entitled for. Um, it's a really nice grip, nice feel to the handle too. They're valued at $12. So I'm so excited. Let's keep on going. What else do we have? Ooh, am I seeing something else that's wooden? I am. This is good. I, wow, look at this, you guys. I'm so excited to get it out of the plastic. It might be something else I have to assemble if you remember the, um, uh, what box is it? Ra Rocky Mountain National Park. I kind of assembled the wooden item wrong in that bark, uh, box, rather incorrectly, but we'll see what I do this time. No way, you guys. This is a handmade wooden foam stand. First of all, look at the gorgeous carvings. Thank you so much to the curators for bringing back the wooden items. Um, I I really miss them. I think the wooden items really make a special touch, and wooden items really go a long way to giving it that uh, park cabin feel. And in the back of the second piece here, they have their NP and Beyond etched into the wood that is incredible and for people like me they've got the instructions on how to assemble this thing probably after my disaster on video back in december that wasn't difficult at all okay once i just figured out you put in it put it here all this goes in the back so you can see the np and beyond and it just stands simply like that um I, it, I, i'll get pictures of this for you guys on instagram because i maybe even insert it into the video because uh, there we go. It's it's there, but you can put the phone right. I would I would, but I'm refilming with my phone. But you can you have the deck of cards, for example. Just put it, put them right up there. That fits perfectly. This is gorgeous. Where else are you gonna find an item like this? I love this box for all the unique items that you can only find in something like a box like this. And I love all the bears. I mean, there are a lot of black bears throughout Great Smoky Mountains. Um, unfortunately, when I went, I did go on a little drive-through trail where we were supposed to see bears, but did we? No, but that's quite okay. Um, I have seen bears in other parks, <laughs> so that's not an issue, but I, it's always fun to see them from a safe distance, and I emphasize the safe distance. Um, and this is valued at $12, uh, which I think is a really reasonable, really good price for that. Because that is handmade and just simply gorgeous. Alright, so we have the art print that we get every time, a 5 by 7 print. I always absolutely love the art print. So one of my favorite parts of these boxes. 
and this one is no exception this is the, the colors on this are really vibrant and I really 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 like that I'm just gonna back that up a little bit so there's the art print absolutely stunning and we've got a whole bunch of information about the park on the back here and they also always provide a map and some of the favorite waterfalls to visit. Now, I want to show you kind of the area that I went to. I did hike to the highest peak in the um, Rocky Mountain National Parks, the highest elevation at least, maybe not where humans are accessible, I believe. I'll have to look up that statistic. But it was uh, Klingman's Dome, which is right here, and I'll have some pictures of it. You kind of just meandered up uh, a big hill and then went to the top of this man-made structure to see to look out and have like a really amazing view of the mountains um, and there's also near the visitor center so I really didn't get to explore this park nearly in enough detail that I normally would like to with a park I mean like Yellowstone I spent a week in you know what I mean so this isn't exactly I'm not an expert in this park by any like uh, way shape or form but they mentioned some waterfalls here to check out uh, like Laurel Falls is the most popular. It's a it's a 2.6 mile round trip hike. This could have been the one I went to, but it it describes it as a uh, 75 foot falls um, dr drop in multiple cascades, and I'm pretty sure that falls I saw didn't do that. So <laughs> I may have seen just a smaller one that was nearby uh, where I was. Um, but that one sounds amazing, and that's a moderate difficulty, so that sounds really good. Um, one of the things it says up here is America's most visited national park in the U.S. I'm finding that surprising because I would really think it would be Yellowstone. Uh, but I guess it is harder and Yellowstone's more of a rugged park to get to. Also, like the, the Pigeons Fjord area, Ford area. Um, you can go through that as well. That's a very popular tourist area. And actually, it shows here where the Appalachian Trail goes through. Um, so that's super cool, too, if you're hiking that. And I always like that they provide where, where they recommend going because they do, the, the curators do visit a lot of these parks, uh, which I am super excited about for some things coming up for what they're doing over the summer. All right, so we have a pin on here, the National Park button pin. It says, protect our lands. I like this. I haven't gotten a pin in one of the boxes yet, although I am behind in opening a few of them, unfortunately. Uh, so 5% of their sales, as we know, uh, goes to support the national parks. And you can sometimes vote on which park you want. Like I voted for it to go towards Yellowstone. This is a cool pin. If you look at it this way, it's got some like it almost looks like it's plexiglass or something it's got some type of layered layered look to it um and it's got a oh remove protect, protective film each piece includes a, a protective film to prevent scratching gotcha so that was probably why it has that that effect to it and it was retailed at four dollars so we'll bring that up here closer i think that's really cute definitely need to protect our lands that's for sure all right, it's time for my favorite part of the unboxing, the t-shirt. And I did, uh, I, they have great customer service. I did ask them for a size up. Not because, I mean, the largest fit fine. I have a large from uh, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. But that moose shirt that I got, they were out of larges when I bought that one on sale uh, during the holidays. And so I had to get an extra large. And I just love that shirt. It, just to have it be a little bit bigger, it's just so comfy. It's like, it's definitely like a comfy, cozy, relaxing around the house type shirt. And I actually needed more shirts like that, so I opted to go for the extra large. I love this color green, by the way. And this, uh, it's a bear, and it's, it says, friends don't use friends as bear bait. <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny, and this feels just as soft as the moose one. So I can't wait to get into these. They're nice and lightweight for the summer, too, which has been fantastic. Their shirts are by far my favorite shirts that I have found in a really, really long time. I think there's one on their website. There might be one or two on their website that I don't have, and I might buy them just because they are so super comfy. Um, I absolutely can't get enough of their t-shirts. So this is May's box, you guys. Great Smoky Mountain National Park. 
Um, if I haven't, if there's any pictures I found that I want to share with you guys that I haven't shown, I will show it here. I know they were having a uh, little bit of a mini raptor exhibit exhibit when I was at the the visitor center, and I did see a great horned owl. I have a gorgeous picture of that I might just throw in because it's just gorgeous, even though it is being you know held by a, um, a naturalist, but. This this park was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll show you some. Uh, definitely, when I bet went back when I talked about Klingman's Dome, I definitely inserted some views from Klingman's Dome, and I will show you the actual. I'll just throughout the video, you'll probably see some pictures, or I'll put them in here if I haven't put them in. And I love this box as always. Um, if you guys want to know more about the subscription, it's forty nine ninety nine a month. You can get it cheaper with prepaid options. I should have mentioned this earlier, but I do have a code, Jesse Miller, all one word, and then space unboxings, and that will get you 10% off any length subscription. It's a really good deal. Um, and like I said, 5% of the profits go to the national park, so it's a box that gives back. And in each box you would receive at least eight items that are over $85 in retail value. Um, every month you get a sticker set, a print, like the art print and info, which is this right here, a clothing item and two to three mystery items. And like I said, I would be completely fine with getting a t-shirt as my clothing item every month because I absolutely love them and I want every single one that they have. And <laughs> so let me know what your favorite item was in the box. I mean, I'm very biased towards the t-shirts. I uh, love the t-shirts. The moose one is still my favorite, but I absolutely love moose. I really love the playing cards, but I think Obviously, I think I've got to go with my uh, second favorite being the cell wooden handmade cell phone holder. It is just so pretty. I, I can't believe the wood. It's just it's shiny as you can tell. It's probably reflecting like crazy. I'll get some good pictures, but um, I love this. It's, it's just it's just gorgeous. And I, you know you can even use it to hold up other things like art prints. Um, I would eventually like use this in unboxing someday. Unfortunately, like it doesn't go well with a. Uh, top-down approach, but if I had an art print to put up, it would be really nice just to have that there to put it up. Um, but anyway, let me know what your favorite item is. I mean, the the s'mores um, tongs are super cool too. I always love the stickers. I love this box. In case you guys haven't figured out, I absolutely love this box. This, was, this park was a lot of fun to visit. So please, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me. It helps my channel. And take a look at this other amazing content that I have for you in the um, end cards uh, right here. I will probably start a playlist for this box because I do have it. Oh, and I haven't told you. Uh -huh, you're going to not see the end cards yet <laughs> because I haven't told you where we're going in June. Um, I don't have June's box yet. They tend to ship, you know, in the mid-month, so I get it towards the end of the month. But in June, we are going to Southern Arizona. Anybody have any guesses? Southern Arizona, if you want to pause here and guess. But it's, this is actually where they're going to feature Saguaro National Park. Saguaro. Actually, this is one I have to admit I have hadn't heard of. Um, but I am thrilled to pieces to be look, to looking at a box in it. Um, saguaro, it's named that because of the cactus. There's a saguaro cactus. So it's obviously a desert-like terrain and desert-like environment. And look at their social media accounts over the summer, Facebook and Instagram, because they are going to Alaska very soon this summer to get some items for some Alaska National Parks boxes. They are going to five separate national parks in Alaska. You guys, I'm so excited. I mean, just um, Denali alone is like super exciting. And the fact that there's four more, I, I'm, I'm just in awe. I can't wait for the Alaska box. Or I don't know how they're going to divide them if there's going to be multiples for each park. But I have no clue how big the park. I know Denali is huge, but the others I'm not sure of the size. So anyway... The curators are going to Alaska. They're going to be getting things for their boxes from Alaska. So I am just so excited. So stick around with me and you'll see more of these boxes for sure on my channel. Anyway, thanks again guys for listening. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.